Hey guys, Keto Genie. So you know it is Sunday. It is meal prep Sunday. I have a lot of lucky clients who are going to be getting their meals for the week delivered today. Well, actually the, their meals for the first three days. And just a little tip on meal prepping at home. So when you're meal prepping, guys, if you're taking the time to make your own food and you're tracking your macros diligently, you need a food scale, okay? You cannot guess. You cannot guesstimate. You can't measure with a cup. You need to... Uh, measure okay so for this person their macros he's gonna get eight ounces of pork roast so you can see that it's not quite right it's 8.1 so then what do you do and then you got to also make sure that it's spread out evenly right so I, it's a little bit over is that the end of the world not really but you want it to be correct you want those you know the measurement to be correct and so you know what? It takes the extra time, but it's worth it. You have to make sure that it's right at 8.0. And because I'm videoing it, it's being pretty finicky. Like usually I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at getting it right on, but. Okay, boom, 8.0. So that's gonna go into this container. This is a client who does eat carbs. So, you know, everybody don't have a nutty. Um, <laughs> and this is the secret to meal prepping. It's like batch cooking, figuring out your macros, tracking your food, and eating what you're supposed to eat. And that is one of the best things about doing meal prep with me is that it takes the guesswork out, it takes the headache out, you know exactly what you're supposed to eat, and you know what? There's nothing you can invest in better than your health, guys. You can have all the money in the world, and if you're not healthy, if you're not able to enjoy it, what's the point? So if you're on the fence about getting some help with meal prep, just do it. 